think our players ask much better questions than you guys do. Oh, come on. Oh. Goodness <laughs> gracious. Um, good to see you too. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys get to come to me all the time, so I can. <laughs> you have a better inside perspective. Well, believe me, the guy asked that question probably does not. <laughs> back to back to seeing a team for the second time this year. What's different this time around about Northwestern than it was the first time you played them? Well, Bowie's in the lineup, uh, and uh, you know he's a, he's an extremely talented, athletic. Uh, guard who can who can uh, uh, really do it and, and hurt you in three different ways. He's really good in the ball screen. He's really good without a screen uh, because he's creative with the ball. He's got extremely deep range, and uh, you know he, he's he's a guy that uh, plays with a burst. He's got a tremendous burst of speed, and, and uh, uh, you know that gives them uh, gives him an opportunity to, to to beat a defender, force two to help. And then he can spray the shooters, so uh, that's different. Um, and uh, you know, they're they're um, uh, you know, this is a team that defensively is is, is, is solid. I, I like their team. They get into gaps. Chris does an unbelievable job. Uh, they have been. Uh, uh, Ryan Young uh, is improved. Has played is playing much better uh, than he was early. Typical growth for a young guy. Uh, Jones, the other interior guy, I, I, I really like. He's a motored up guy, plays extremely hard. So, uh, you know, this is a team that is, is continuing to work and continue, continuing to, to, to get better, both individually and as a team. And, and that's tribute to, Pat, uh, to, to Chris. Brad Io said you guys might get them a little more ready to go for road games. What's kind of gone into that ability to, to kind of bring it a little more on the road than, than some of these home matches? Oh, I, I, you know, I think the one thing is we, we've stressed it. You know, it's something we've talked about since the spring is, is figuring out how to win on the road in this league and figuring out how to uh, – every game's – you know, to me it's, it's – there's a, there's, a, there's a certain – mindset maybe that you have to have it's us against the world type on the road uh, but I think it's about uh, it's about playing the game and, and, and you know whether you're home or on the road uh, you play for 40 minutes you play as hard as you can you try to execute and, and, and do those things but uh, you know it's something we've talked about a lot since the spring is, is being able to to, uh, to be a good basketball team and win games on the road. What does it say about this group that they've really kind of embraced that mentality? Well, they follow one of my two rules. I got two rules, you know, be on time and listen. So maybe they're listening a little bit and, and, and buying in. And, and, you know, we got, we got some experience, you know, and I, even though we're a young team age wise and, um, you know, there's some experience there. Guys, guys have a little more comfort being on the road and, and, and know what each facility looks like and know what, uh, what those atmospheres were like. So, you know, with that maybe comes a little bit of confidence. I bring that up back in the spring, in the summer. Were you just trying to put it in their head, or is there anything you guys were doing to prepare for that uh, at that point? A little of both. I mean, those were the changes that had to be implemented on the defensive side. With change, you know, we needed a reason, an explanation, and, and uh, you know, that was it. It was, it was trying to prepare to win and, and not being uh, out-toughed and not being – uh, you know, as, as, as mistake, trying to make fewer mistakes. Uh, those are things that you have to do to win on the road and, and win in, in postseason play. So, uh, yeah, you know, the, all those things are, were, were involved. I know Georgie's been struggling the last couple games. Is there anything specifically you can do to try to get him out of his slump? Yeah, tell him to keep playing really hard. And that's, you know, the game comes back to you. The game finds you. And when you work as hard as Georgie, he was – I got in here at 6.45, what, I don't even know what day we played, Monday. I got in here at 6.45 Tuesday morning, and I heard the balls bouncing at 10 to 8. And it was Georgie in here with managers working on his game. And, and uh, the thing is so impressive with, with Georgie, even though he's struggling, if you watch our bench, uh, which we keep a camera on our bench during games, I mean, he's the first one up cheering, he's the first one up slapping a high five, what an unbelievable teammate he is. The game finds its way back to you. And when you do those things, and, and uh, it will come for Georgia. Is it a matter of maybe just seeing one fall? Because against Rutgers, he got you know one jump up to go over Harper and hit another. I mean, is that could that be? Yeah, it's, it's literally that simple. Sometimes 
Sometimes it's not, you know, and, and uh, you know, the game is a funny game and, and uh, uh, you know, right now it's just keep putting in your work, keep playing hard, uh, keep doing what, what your teammates need you to do and, and, and it'll come. And, and if it's one jump hook, it's, if it's one layup, if it's one offensive rebound, if it's a free throw. Uh, seen it all and, uh, you know, that could be the thing that, that triggers him. I know we're going to, we've got belief in him, we're going to keep going to him and, and uh, looking to get him the, the opportunities in the areas he's very, very effective and we know he can score in and, and uh, you know, keep telling him to shoot. Have you put any more thought into that three days off where the team looks a little maybe flat coming out of it? Dug into that anymore and you know, maybe why that is? I don't have time to do that right now. Uh, you know, I think it's, uh, you know, I think when you get into practices and you get into games and you, you have a tendency mentally to stay pretty pretty focused and pretty dialed in and, and uh, uh, maybe not relax. Um, I, I, beyond that, I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad we had the break and I'm, I'm glad we, cause we were not sharp. I mean, we missed 15 layups the other night. You know, you talk about perspective of a game. Think about just if we make half those, just half, and you know, because defensively it was our it was Nebraska's lowest offensive efficiency rate. We were really good defensively. We did some great things. We, you know, there were 0.6 points per possession in ball screens. Uh, we did a lot of good things. We got rebounded at 14, but uh, just make layups, and uh, you know, when we missed some free throws. I almost missed two free throws. When we're not mentally sharp. We miss those, and, and we do those things. And, and uh, but uh, we did a lot of really, really good things. At the same time, do you look at the bulk of your wins have come with great defense, and even when the offensive efficiency hasn't been there, you look at that and go, "Hey, I can ride the defense." That's that's what this 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 time of year is about. Late February, early March is is uh, you know. Do what you know, kind of dance with who brought you, you know, and 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 it's been our defense, it's been our rebounding. We've got areas to continue to to, to improve in there, but uh, uh, you know, when the ball goes in, great, you know, it's it's a it's a perfect world, but uh, sometimes it doesn't, and and that's what we're trying to 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 always be prepared for. So, what is practice about at this time of year in terms of improvement? You know, it's. Obviously, it's, it. diff it's different than off season, though. You know, what does improvement yeah. look like now? No, it's 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 simply that it's continuing to get better. I mean, we we still practice really hard. We still lift. Uh, they're in with Fletch. You you, you uh, what a great story. I go ask him how how much how much our guys have improved during the season in the weight room. How much stronger they've gotten. Uh, fatigue, tired. That's for everybody else. It's not for us. And uh, you know we're still trying to get better. We're still trying to. We know we haven't reached our peak, and we're still trying to find that. And uh, uh, so you know we're, it's it's about game prep, yes, and and the next opponent, yes. But it's it's still. Uh, you know we did some things yesterday offensively that we hadn't worked on in a while. It's about continuing to improve those areas, and, and that's something we've uh, uh, we'll never stop doing here. With Western showed in the first match, if they have some bigs that can go out on the perimeter and pull Kofi away from the paint or Georgie, how much is that an emphasis of getting out there and challenging guys that can make shots from there? Yeah, it's a big part of their offense. We let you know, we let Barons have 17 or 19, I think, and and, and Young hurt us and made a three. And uh, you know, I think Miller Cop is one of the outstanding wing players in our league, and, and uh, you know, he's probably got one of the best one, two dribble pull-ups in, in college basketball. But uh, yeah, we, they're gonna pull us out. It's what they do. And, and you know, they run an offense that's uh, not too drastically different from our spread. Um, and having guys who can shoot it is, is, is part of their plan. And, and like I said, Young's much improved. They're going to Young much more than uh, uh, than they were early. So yeah, you know, our bigs got their hands full with, with, uh, with Young and, and Barons and Jones and uh, Nance, all those guys are, are very skilled. Have you coached a player like DeMonte before that it leans in so hard defensively you can guard one through four or five on occasion? Yeah, not as a head coach. Um, you know, I, it, it was, I've had different positions. I think the one thing, we had a young man when I was with Frank at, at Kansas State, a kid named Dominic Sutton. Dominic was a little bit bigger than, than uh, 
DeMonte in terms of probably 6'5", but could literally guard every spot. And I mean, we put him on Jimmer Fredette in the NCAA tournament. He guarded Darrell Arthur when we played Kansas, you know, and at the time. So uh, those, those guys are invaluable. They're versatile, they're athletic, they're length. And, uh, you know, when, when uh, uh, people underestimate how strong DeMonte is. DeMonte's got great, great lower body strength, and and um, and then he's he's long. He plays bigger than he is. How unique is it where I mean, just the offense may isn't coming for him, but that doesn't affect anything else he does on the court. Yeah, I mean it's do what you do well, and and and, and stay in your lane. And I, you know, like I said, he's he's uh, he's excelling at his role on this team, and that's special. Uh, man, that's that's. Uh, you know, not everybody is going to be a 45% three-point shooter. Not everybody's going to be a great low post player. Not everybody's going to be a five assist a game guy. Do what you do and do it well. And, and DeMonte does does his role um, as well as anybody on our team, and he's, he's great at it. Right, I saw tickets are pretty expensive for tomorrow night. I assume if Northwestern down, that means a lot of Illini fans would be there. Do you guys not playing in Chicago this year? You know, in the United Center, what does that fan base mean if they come back to you in a sense of, of that support from Chicago? Yeah, I, I don't know what anything about the ticket market, but uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's the Illini Nation's proud, and, and obviously we have so many alums in, in the Chicago area, and, and uh, uh, we know how important uh, uh, our fans are, and it's a great opportunity for them to. You know, to see us up there, and, and obviously it's it's uh, it's out on Northwestern's campus, but uh, you know, so there'll be some some limits to how, how they get in. But uh, uh, anytime they show up, man, we're we know how blessed we are as coaches, as players, to have such a passionate fan base. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.